and what is up it is your favorite youtuber og Polly, and i'm back again with another amazing video if it is the first time that you are on my channel welcome welcome and welcome if you are a returning subscriber a faithful member of Polly world welcome home bo baby bo baby libo baby anyways so i just thought i should take you through this day in my life or whatever so i actually come from church today and i actually forgot that they're going to be appreciating people who serve at like um like a serving get together thingy which i will vlog you know um yeah we haven't had electricity since six in the morning it is five to one we are running on generator it's just so expensive in this economy bro like petrol for the car and for generator like my gosh hey and we don't know why like something just happened at the power station and you know when it's not loading, bro you are you're in danger man you're really in danger um yes besides that i'm just overseeing the completion of my project yeah uh, that episode should be out by now and if it isn't it will be attached um at some point up there in the cards you know so yeah right now um and because there was no electricity i didn't eat so i haven't eaten the whole day so i'm about to go and make food let's go and make food so i want to make a fruit salad but i'm not in the mood also like i'm just so tired bro but i want this plum it looks beautiful <laughs> I'll, I'll make um a fruit salad and I'll show you my fruit salad once I've made it. I'm actually going to make um, maybe like plum and grapes. I don't want banana. Plum and grapes and a peach perhaps for color, you know. Um, yeah, and the hard body of the food. I don't know, man. I might just eat a fat cake. I don't know. Please don't mind the fan running in the background. You know, we're cooking Sunday lunch or whatever. Guys, I'm a hard worker here. Yeah? I'm a hard work. I'm just looking at things going on outside the house. This is all under my, you know, yes, like. Anyways, let's go make this food. Um, let me not get distracted, you know, hunger talks. so dark i can't even believe it myself i can't believe this what why is it so dark i mean i know it's gray outside but yikes so oh. any i don't even know it but let me just hold it so i am just waiting for time to fly i'm i'll leave at like four o'clock or something my phone cracked bro when did my phone crack when doesn't my phone crack? That's the shorter question. It when it cracked it. But it's the glass protector, so thankfully. I'm gonna leave it like four o'clock. It's like two o'clock. I'm gonna use this two hours to go and watch um this Chinese musical called Our Shining Days, just because I watched a movie recap on it. If you don't know what movie recap is, it's like a summary of movies that's how i watch movies personally i don't have time to dedicate two hours of my day i want to watch a movie in 15 minutes and call it a day it just sounded so cool you know and i love 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 like instruments i can't exactly play any i could play the piano a little bit at some point in my life but yeah that's in the past um so i want to go and watch it it's an hour and a half i think um yeah and then like we're gonna leave and we're gonna go to serve appreciation hmm. I'm just so annoyed with <laughs> electricity we haven't, had electric uh, we haven't had electricity the whole day and it's kind of getting on my nerves but as long as I've eaten I'm good bro and today I'm gonna sleep like a baby because this next week boy I'm putting my furniture together for because this next week I'm gonna be studying like hardcore studying you know and oh dude i don't want interruptions so anyways guys after running the gym for like four hours we're finally switching it off i'm actually leaving now it is quarter past 20 past four um things starts at five i don't know if i'm gonna be able to film with my camera because of how dark it generally is like outside and you know so yeah but it's fine i'm gonna take my camera with me anyway guys did you know that i have dimples look 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 <laughs> Wait, wait, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't 
no. <laughs> Anyways, I'm um, head out. We Jesus conquered the grave have said yes God no matter what by love and your endurance your yes inspired by hope in Lord Jesus Christ we thank God we thank God continually for our certainty we thank God for those who endured in every season for those that never drop the passion for those who never let the fire go out when there was opportunity and there was in the middle of winter, 6 a.m., people were up, ready to serve. Yeah. And when it was raining, there were people that never had umbrellas. You are running the race and storing up treasure in heaven where mark rust cannot destroy and thieves cannot steal. You are not just doing a task, you are doing an eternal work. And that's why I encourage you and I inspire you to never lose your Yeah, that was like so quick. I didn't expect it to be so quick. It was just so nice, man. Like, ugh. It was just such a... I just love church. You know, church is such a safe space, man. Oh my gosh. Like, ugh. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I got... Um, I chose Rock Obama's over Nando's simply because I don't like Nando's burgers. Like, I don't like them. I don't and oh rock mama's burgers here to this lab i am burning i am burning i don't know whether i must take off my mask or my blazer but like uh, man i'd feel naked without both anyways i'm gonna head home now because the sun is still out and i i'm really not a fan of driving in the dark and yeah man i got to go oh 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 and i found my mom this electricity so i'm like super happy about that i'm super super stoked what's today oh yeah today's still sunday wow today's sunday hectic man um yeah i told you guys that i cracked my phone but it's fine it's fine yeah So guys, I wanted to share a devotion with you guys. So today's devotion is titled Spirit of Truth. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is from John 14 verses 6. May I just add that in uh, 1 John first john chapter 2 verses 22 to 23 it goes on to say who is a liar but he who denies that jesus is the christ he is antichrist who denies the father and the son whoever denies the son does not have the father either he who acknowledges the son has the father also because jesus is god 
who came on earth and died for us you know the love jesus the love that god had for us that he came down himself you know and for me it just echoes this verse you know i am the way the truth and the life no one gets to the father except through me the only way to god is through jesus moving on it goes on to say in john 15 verses 26 jesus promised his disciples that when the mediator came who he would send from his father he would testify about jesus and would empower the gospel message that he came to deliver to the world so the mediator the helper aka the holy spirit when that happens the children of god will also receive the power to be his witnesses and to carry the gospel message into the whole world here jesus calls the holy spirit the spirit of truth because he will guide his children into all truth and he will tell you what is yet to come and you know um just to add on you know in um once again in first john chapter 2 this is in verse 27 it says but the anointing which you have received from him abides in you and you do not need that anyone teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things and is true and is not a lie and just as it has taught you you will abide in him you know the holy spirit of god is who we are talking about here the holy spirit as mentioned here is our teacher he's there to teach us and to bring into memory and remembrance what we have learned and what you know jesus has said and this also requires us to actually open the bible study the word and try our from our side our best to learn and allow the holy spirit to help us to comprehend and to understand you get so it goes on to say that the holy spirit is still available to lead you in truth to show you the truth about jesus and to remind you of the words of jesus because jesus is the way the truth and the life it is impossible to be a child of god if you do not believe in him if you do not believe in jesus the holy spirit also makes it possible for you to witness about your faith and when you are busy with the word of god he reveals the truth of the scriptures to you you know um the holy spirit will be your mouthpiece you know fret not because when you are you know taking territory for the kingdom of god when you are you know evangelizing for god when you are preaching the message of the gospel you know the good news and you're going out there and you're doing the thing that god has told you to do you are walking in obedience to him and these are the things that god has called you to do you do not need to worry about how you're going to say things how do i put things what if i offend people that's not for you to worry about about. what you need to do is abide and obey because god's got your back why would he lead you to you know danger this is god you know like jehovah shabbat god of angel armies i will pray will protect you he will guide you the holy spirit will teach you the holy spirit will be your mouthpiece you will know what to say at the right time you know you need just to believe and trust in the power of the holy spirit to work through you because you know when we do things for god and we do thing we do those things in the flesh we don't do them as um as per conviction of the holy spirit or we don't do them with the the guidance and the instruction of the holy spirit you know um it it i i would like to say um it may not it may not be as powerful as when the holy spirit has been invited to help you do it or he has you know launched you to do it because you know there's no such thing as a coincidence you know some people could be listening to you at the at a specific time you know like strategic encounters made by the holy spirit you know heavenly timing you know good timing coincidences those type of things they happen because they're god ordained you know and so when you're obedient to the holy spirit you would then be doing things according to god's will for other people's lives and your life you know being used as a vessel because you've availed yourself to him so that he can use you to touch other people's lives and to be available for you know strategic encounters and connections and relationships which other people need so which is why we must always invite the holy spirit to help us do these things because we don't want to do these things in vain and you know no one has been touched by the word of god that you're trying to give out and so we must always make sure that we put on our armor and that we pray you know like god be my mouthpiece help me to 
talk in such a way that people will understand lord even if i can touch one person that person that you have called me to touch help me to touch that person you know what i mean and also it says you know he reveals the truth of scriptures to you this is so important i really do you know i encourage those around me all the time that you know as much as you know as um it is biblical that we do not forsake the gathering of the brethren meaning we go to church as per obedience of what is written in the bible you know because we love god we are obedient to him because we love god we listen to what he says we don't question everything like this is csi you know no we love god and so we listen to him and we obey what he tells us to do and if god says that we do not forsake the gathering of the brethren then we do not forsake it we cannot say oh but i can take the bible and i can read it at home i don't need to go to church yes as we've already read right the holy spirit is our teacher he's our number one teacher but god uses people in strategic ways you know the holy spirit doesn't need people he wants to use people as well you know he doesn't have to but he wants to and we, we can't deny him you know what i'm saying we, ca we can't deny him from doing that and out of obedience and love for god you need to go to church because it's something god has called us to do together you know it is a house of god and you know there's nothing like being in a community and in a like a get together that just celebrates god you know like it's so warm you know and even with that being said you can't only go to church you must also allow the holy spirit to do his work so what do i mean by that you need to pick this beautiful life-giving bread called the bible the holy bible and you need to intentionally also open the bible and you know pray god help me to understand what i'm reading lead me lord to you know I'm, i want to i want to take part in in in, in your i want to i want to partake in your word i want to make sure that i'm in healthy relationship with you help me lord to read and understand the bible you know the holy spirit will reveal scriptures to you You'll have revelations that he will reveal to you that your pastor might have not been able to get through to you that way you know and also we mustn't forget that you know like myself speaking from revelations that i get it's a second account of a revelation it's not a first-hand revelation it's not something the holy spirit is telling you personally it's something that he used someone to tell you that could be personal but as great as that is it's also important that we also make the time to not only pray but also listen to God and also allow the Holy Spirit to give us personal revelations because it's a personal relationship with God, you know, and the best way to understand the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, the best way to understand God, his love for you and be sensitive to his voice is to give him time of day, is to read his word and, you know, just indulge in personal relationship with him. It's a beautiful thing. I promise you, it is the one thing in your life you will never, ever regret. Hold me by it. It goes on to say, without the Holy Spirit who opens the word of God for you and who gives you the insights to understand it, you will never really comprehend it. And that really is the truth of the matter because, you know, you can put a hundred people in one room and you can all give them the same verse. All hundred of those people can come out with a different understanding and revelation because we experience God differently in different seasons. You know, I could be in a season where I'm experiencing Jehovah Jireh, my provider. You could be experiencing Jehovah Rapha, your healer, you know. And so because we're experiencing two different um, parts of God, right? When we read a particular word, we read it out of our personal season and our personal experience at the moment. And so our revelations might not be identical, but that just shows you how, you know, God speaks to us personally. And so we must make personal time for him, but still not forsake the gathering of the brethren. You know, the Holy Spirit is our teacher. He will teach you. He will lead you to talk. He will cause you to talk. He will cause you to understand. All you need to do is just make the time and be intentional about making effort in the day, you know. Um, you can readily ask the spirit of truth to make the truth of the word a reality in your life. And here's a short little prayer that I'm just going to read. Um, Holy Spirit, I praise you for coming and teaching me what the truth is that you are indeed the spirit of truth lead me in this truth and remind me of what jesus has done for me every day in jesus name i pray amen i really hope that you know um 
even if it's to one person whenever you're watching this i really do hope that this particular devotion has you know shined some light or some understanding as to how can i i want to but how can i because we can always want to have a relationship but it's the how right the how is just open the bible sit down open the bible turn out all distractions and just talk to god god i want to understand the bible i want to have a relationship with you i'm tired of not understanding i'm tired of being confused i'm tired of being perceived by people around me reveal who you are to me reveal your truth and your love to me you know it's a conversation you know it's a conversation but re remember that in a relationship it's not one person that has the conversation it's talk listen listen talk so you must talk and listen to him as well but yeah you guys that is the beautiful um devotion that i wanted to share with you guys um the most important book to consult is the bible go and check it out it's amazing i promise <laughs>